One of the big shocks for me at Gen Con 2016 was a game that I thought was dead. So I never bothered to review it, never bothered to bring it up or anything like that. And I would talk about it in passing on my channel. But there was a boot there and I walked by it maybe once, maybe twice, maybe even three times, not even thinking twice, thinking that they were just trying to get rid of the rest of their stock. But it turned out somebody decided to buy this game and breathe new life into it and finally give it what it really deserved, the treatment it deserved, and to make sure that all the progs come out. Because this game had a lot of cool stuff. And what game is that? All Quiet on the Martian Front. Pretty much spoofed of the 1940 film. They came and, and got killed, but they left, and the story goes, they came back. And this time, they came back with a vengeance. Only this time, the world decided to incorporate some of its technology. They came back with a way to defeat the bacteria, and the fight would live on. This is a great game. So, let's take a look at it and really get my true thoughts on what I hope is a new start for a very good game. Now what you see here is not everything that comes in the box, but I wanted to show you the different units. You get machine gunners, I think you get three of those. I think you get, um, uh, I believe it is six, uh, six uh, tanks. You get um, some bicycle units and of course you get infantry units. They come with the stands, make it very simple. You get all these wonderful tokens. You get three of these guys, as you can see, very simple to paint, very easy to work with. Just, and, and they really have that 1940s uh, feel as far as the um, aliens are concerned. It really looks war the worldish, And uh, very easy to paint and very e you know, pretty easy to put together. Uh, you can arm them any way you want. You, you can arm them any way you want. They come with different configurations. Uh, just a really great game. The way it works is very, very, very simple. Um, you have a defense value that you, ne you need a D10 which to figure everything out. Um, what happens is Side A would get to go, whoever has the initiative. They would get a move order, then a combat order, and then another move order. Okay, so you would maybe move, shoot, and then retreat. Now, depending on how many weapons is how many dice you move. For, for these guys, they have a defense value of six. So on a D10, you would have to roll uh, better than a six. Of course, I rolled a 30, which wouldn't, would be a complete mess. But you would count each weapon, so you, this particular unit would get 3d10. And the reason you would need all those dice is because these guys are tough. It's okay to beat their defense, which I got with a six, okay? But now I would have to beat their armor, and their armor is a, a 11. So a 10 always hits. So with, depending on how many hits you got, you would have to roll that and then roll on a chart for these guys. Now for these guys, if they take one wound, you lose one unit. Um, it's, it's easier to kill the, the, um, the humans than it is these guys. These guys just keep on going, but you're playing with fewer of these guys. You have a whole army out in front of you. And then what would happen is if you beat their armor, you would go to a chart and then you would roll on that chart. And as you can see, it has a tripod resolution, damage resolution chart, chart. And you would roll on that. And here I rolled a two, so their armor would go down. So you would keep on hitting them and hitting them and wearing their armor down. So as they advance, they're getting weaker and weaker. And then eventually they would implode. But it gives you that feel that you, you feel like the bullets are bouncing off the Martians just like in the real movie and there's so many different units that you can purchase and there's different Martian units that are out there that you can purchase I was so happy when I found out that and talked uh, to the two owners that had taken this over or, and are very committed to this game and you get everything that you can ever need to play this game in the box set and the box set I believe 
is um, I, I couldn't even tell you how much it is but you know I think it's anywhere from 80 to a hundred dollars but you get a ton of stuff you get three of these units and um, I, I believe two squadrons of two squadrons of bikes two squadrons of machine guns two squadrons of uh, tanks and two squadrons of infantry soldiers so you get quite a bit so the whole thing is that you're trying to rush and take these guys out it comes with scenarios that you can play um, everything that you can ever imagine dice uh, these these beautiful plastic markers to represent their death beams and stuff like that and their area weapons um, just a lot of fun and a game I think you would enjoy now like I said uh, you know I know you know I can't go over every rule this would be a two-hour video but you can see a playthrough that Justin and I are going to probably do at some point and we'll make sure that you guys know about it so you can even get even more of a feel for this game but this is is a good and very solid game so I suggest you give it a look you can again you can check it out at all quiet on the Martian front dot com um, and if you have any questions they will answer them and help you in any way they can and t let's go up top and uh, now this is this a great game for people who really want to start to get into that hobby of putting something together painting something and playing it and because the paint schemes are so easy it's a good confidence builder the Martians very simple just get them together prime them put a little silver on them do a little detail you're done tanks tanks are easy you just give them a little love make sure the tracks are done right dry brush and you're done so it's a very easy and 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 good introductory game as far as modeling is concerned and painting is concerned and I suggest it highly for some beginners and the box set gives you everything you need it comes it comes with a full unit uh, two units of tanks squadrons of machine gunners and soldiers and of course three assault vehicles for the Martians which is more than enough to play you could play with this box set and be very happy but with all the other stuff if you go buy the actual book even though it comes with a very good concise and clear book that'll give you the stra the stats for other things so if you decide to go out to buy some of these other other pieces to add to your armies it, it, it really does give you all the information the book gives you a lot more in-depth and that's why I, I picked up the book as well but this little box set is worth every penny a very 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 good good and great game I love this game this is one of my favorite games to play and I love to play it with the kids they love it it's it's fun you really get the theme is is there you feel like the Martians are unbeatable and then all of a sudden you blow one of those things up and the tide turns uh, you know you get a lucky roll or whatever it is and and it, and it kind of feels like the movie because you're hitting these things hitting these things and wearing the armor down but they just keep coming and coming and coming until finally you start to break through and you start to take them out and being smart and using using your weapons properly is is the key to everything and uh, I really love this game this is one of my favorite games and I'm so glad the company took it over you can look it up and and learn more about this game at allquietonthemartianfront.com they have a store there and they will tell you everything that you need to know um, really it's uh, um, some of the rules are going to be rewritten uh, some more models are going to be produced uh, some scenery is being done for it even though I built my own table and it looks fantastic I really suggest you give this a go go to that website support these guys you're gonna find that if you really want to start something don't start with Warhammer don't start with with a war machine this is the game that will really give you all the theme you want all the fun you want all in one box all in one box everything that you'll ever need is in that box and if you want to take it a step further you can and that's the beauty of it so I really like it I hope you support it I'm Rob Orn I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you soon
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.